It's a polygram. So this is my Australia story. Um, a few years back, I spent my summer in Australia for work. So um, NCIS had sent me to Australia to for Sydney and then Melbourne and then back to Sydney to do press out there. And it was a lot <laughs> of stuff, like a lot of interviews, a lot of, of, I mean, everything. There was a lot going on. So I had never been there before. And my goodness, it's beautiful. Um, and the fan base in Australia is pretty amazing. But I, I was working, I was working all day, every day on all the press and stuff. So when I was removing me from Sydney to Melbourne and I was like, I mean, I didn't really have time to do anything because I was working the whole time. But then I heard on the news that the Australian zoo had a new baby elephant. And I said, that's it. I've, I've kind of known for never asking for anything <laughs> like even in my life, like I'm not that good at it, but I like made the phone call and sent a couple of emails and I'm like, can I please go see the baby elephant at the Melbourne Zoo? Please. I just, just the one thing. All I want to do is see a baby elephant. So here's where it gets crazy and awesome. So I get a call back like the next day and I still haven't gotten, they haven't moved me from Sydney to Melbourne yet. And I get a call back and they say, um, do you know a gal named Beth Croce? And I said, Beth, my Beth from elementary school? <laughs> well, I went to school when I was living in Georgia, her? We were, we were, cause that, obviously that isn't possible. And they were like, uh, yeah, actually the head veterinarian at the Melbourne Zoo, um, his wife said that she knows you and you went to school together. And I'm like, heck yeah, we did. And I'm like, what is happening? What's happening right now? So I get to Melbourne and sure enough, there is my friend from where I went when I was going to school in Georgia, when I was small-ish, I'm kind of tall, so I was small-ish. And there she is. It is awesome. And her husband's the vet at the Melbourne Zoo. And the kids, and they were wonderful, and it warmed my heart so much to just see somebody that I've known since I was a kid. And I got to meet the baby elephant. And it was incredible. <laughs> I don't know, I never got a chance to thank Australia for how kind and warm they were for me. Oh, also, when I was in Sydney, I got to go see the Da Vinci exhibit. It was across the street from my hotel. I love Da Vinci so much, and I couldn't believe that it was there. So the one moment I got to do something else, I got to see the Da Vinci exhibit. I got to meet the baby elephant and squeeze my, young, my friend from when I was young, Beth, and... One time, I went to the Botanical Gardens in Sydney, and I somebody told me to go at a certain time, and that's when the bats will migrate to a different place. So I'm in the middle of the botanic, Botanical Zoo, and it's raining a little. Um, it all just feels like a dream. But um, th so there was nobody around because it was a little bit wet outside. And um, I went to there and I'm standing there, it's, a, it's a, such a magic moment. And I'm like, this, there's no bats here. Like, I don't, they did nothing. Cause they said they would be in the trees and then they were leaving, I don't see anything. So I'm just like looking around. And then all of a sudden, like I see something out of the corner of my eye and this way and over there. And they were all hanging upside down and they looked like like little hanging fruits like this. But I, it just looked like part of the tree. And then one by one, the little faces would be down here would show up this way, <laughs> upside down, and their little faces would come out. And then there was more and more and more and more and more and more, like they were multiplying. And all of a sudden it was just a whole sky full of bats. And it was incredible. I tried to go in a church there too, but it was a Catholic church and I'm allergic to that 
the stuff that goes around like that. It was a beautiful church. I took one step inside and started sneezing, so I left. But thank you, Australia. This is years ago, so it's a little late. For, uh, for the Da Vinci exhibit, had some mighty good seafood, too. Um, I would go down and get it from the place that right there on the river. And for, uh, for the bats and the botanical garden, but mostly for the baby elephant. That was my Australia story. Mwah. <laughs>